Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for this week's vlog. I kind of on a whim got a new camera yesterday and this is my first time recording on it, like actually. So I'm trying to figure it out. I put a new mic on it that I don't think works really well with this camera. And I'm like so excited, but also so nervous as like, what if this doesn't work well? It has this like tracker that's going across my eye as I move across screen. So I'm like, okay, at least I know I'm in focus. My old camera, I love it. And I'm also like, is it for sure recording? Cause it's, there's so much going on on the screen. Oh, I see it. Okay, yes. <laughs> My old camera I got because I wanted a camera that had a mic import, but that camera never focuses. I don't know if you guys noticed in my vlogs, but I was always out of focus and you just, it would never focus. So this has a mic jack and focus. So I'm like playing around with it. I'm so excited for this vlog. I want to clean up my closet. It's time. And also last week, y'all know that I really was kind of eyeing getting my nails done and I made an appointment and I feel kind of guilty about it but very excited about it i'll explain more about that later but that's tomorrow so it's going to be a two-day vlog i got a package and it's one of my favorite packages i get one of these packages probably every six to eight weeks because i just love them so much and this is from anna luisa who is sponsoring this video i am wearing their earrings right now if you don't know pretty much anna luisa is the reason i went ahead and got more piercings because they have so many cute earrings that i want to stack and I'm like four weeks away from being able to take out the piercing studs and stack other earrings, but I literally got two piercings on this ear and one piercing on this ear to be able to wear multiple of their earrings at the same time. <laughs> but they have a Mother's Day sale going on right now that is such a good idea because what mom doesn't love jewelry? So it's not a code, but it is a link. I will have the link down below. And you get 15% off starting April 12th. So the sale is already going on and I have shipping dates. Last day for guarantee shipping to arrive by Mother's Day is May 5th for US and May 3rd for international. Let's open these really quick. Oh, I love these. Oh my gosh. Did you see how fast that focused? <gasps> and I don't even have it on the fast focus mode. <laughs> I'm so excited about the earrings, about the camera. Sorry, I need to tone it down. I know this can be overbearing. <laughs> but a couple reasons I love Anna Luisa is their pieces start at $39, but they are really, really, really good quality. They are usually gold vermeil, which is like gold plating, but a little bit thicker. I've had these in since our last sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be better about switching out my jewelry, but they hold up. Look, there's, they look good as new. They also are carbon neutral. So they offset 100% of the carbon emissions from the production of their pieces. And something that I appreciate is that they do limited batches. So they don't just like overproduce, meaning they don't have excessive waste and they can really, really monitor the quality. Now that I have so many earring holes, it's hard to find, okay, <laughs> the right one. Oh, these are cute. What do you think? Do you like them? I love them. Oh, can't you picture this and then a smaller hoop? In fact, I actually think I got a couple other earrings. Wish I could try them all on right now. Oh, this one. Honestly, I think I'm gonna send these to my mom because these are so her. I love them. Kind of tempted to keep them, but I'm kind of showering her in Mother's Day presents this year. These are like a double hoop and they are just so pretty. And then one last, oh yes. Oh yes, this is ideal for stacking. Just a very simple, small, pretty hoop. Thank you to Anna Luisa for making such great quality and accessible and intentional jewelry. Such a good Mother's Day present. I will have that 15% off link linked down below if you're interested in shopping and i'm gonna leave these on i think for the rest of the day it's kind of fun with my very cozy track suit <laughs> i always love that combination i'm still recording right okay yeah <laughs> It's gonna take me a while to get used to this. I think it's time. Let's start my closet clean out. I don't know how far we'll get. Okay, closet clean out is gonna wait 30 minutes because Brooke just came in my office and said, wanna go get coffee? And I said, yeah. But this is my first time holding this camera and I wanna get your opinion, what you wanna see moving forward because there's two settings. This setting is a little bit shakier. I'm moving around, moving around, but it's like a normal frame. If I make it stabilized, it's pretty, cropped in let me show you let me change that setting really quick so here is it with like the steady focus on and i think it doesn't make that much of a difference in terms of like how stable it actually is from a viewer point of view but it's like my arm 
is full length away from my body and it's this close to my face. So what do you guys like more? I'm kind of leaning towards not having like the super de super steady on because this is like, hello, it's like right there. <laughs> uh, I'll switch it back. I'll put on my shoes and let's go get. I just realized you haven't been in a vlog in like weeks. Coffee! <laughs> yes, oh no, no, no. He thinks my mic is a toy. Oh, Mix. Oh, Bubba. <laughs> Look at how good this you camera so is. Good. What you do? I know, he got a bath. Sweet Brooke. I came home and Brooke was like, We both got baths and they both smelled we so both good. They gave each other a bath. They gave each other a bath. It was a family experience. <laughs> Brooke's my cameraman because I kind of want to show him the camera. Also, I just switched the mic to a smaller mic so the audio might not be as good, but it also might not be as shaky. But outfit of the day before we leave because I feel not McKellish. I feel kind of swaggy. I feel like a celebrity running errands. <laughs> so. This is my um, top half of the lounge set from Aloe Yoga that was way too expensive, but I bought it as a business expense researching for Jansen the label. <laughs> my favorite Lululemon leggings. And then there was mixed emotions about these shoes. These shoes are from Adidas and they're definitely my sister's aesthetic, not mine. They're like, they're, they're pretty cool. I don't know if I pulled them off, but all together with my new hoops. I feel like it kind of works. What do you think, Rick? Sure. Do I look soggy? What do you think, Mix? Do I look soggy? Do I look so uh, <laughs> Thank you. You got some eye bugs, dude. Oh, Don't touch you get some, you, you get some, can I, can, okay. <laughs> Forgot to crop it back in, but I have been on the hunt for a Starbucks tea that isn't that sweet, a green tea. All the ones I've tried are so sweet. Oh, how's your sandwich? Good. And so this time I got the peach green tea, no lemonade. Last time, just the way it was, was white. It was like drinking candy. So I said very, very, very light peach. We'll see if it's if it's up to my standards. Much better. Still a little sweet, but it's much better. Welcome to our bedroom. I never film in here because I've talked about it before. All the mirrors, also, all, sorry, all of Brooks and Max's stuff is everywhere. <laughs> All of Brooke's clothes and Max's champagne. Party hard, dude. So like I said, it's time to clean up my closet. I don't have a ton that I wanna get rid of, but something that's interesting and that I didn't fully realize is I actually have less storage space in this house than the apartment because my half of the closet in the apartment had two beams, essentially. It had an upper and a lower rod. This one is just one long rod going across. I actually might take out, it's just like a cheap metal, I'll show you. It's like a cheap metal little shelf in here like this. And I think this is something I probably wouldn't ask permission for for my landlord, but if I upgraded it and did like custom shelving and like actual rods and added some shelves in there and such, that she would actually like it. So that's a project I might wanna do eventually, but needless to say, time to clean it out because I actually don't have a lot of space. And I will be selling everything that I think is worth selling on my Poshmark. I actually have a girl, she's one of our subscriber friends who has been running my Poshmark for me. She's adorable, she just recently had a baby, so she's looking for supplemental income. And so I told her she can run my Poshmark, she can make all the prices, do that thing, and she basically takes half the profit. So I'm not the one making the prices or the listings or anything like that, feel free to negotiate if you're shopping on my Poshmark. It's not me, it's Jessica. So I'm gonna go through, see what I have to sell. A lot of things too, I do have a lot of Everlane things that I would have bought something and then worked with them and gotten a duplicate or gotten it in multiple colors and I don't need it in multiple colors or they sent it to me in a size and then I rebought it in a different size. So I do have some Everlane things too that I just have multiples of that I should probably go through. So let's do this. Oh goodness, I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna start going through and pulling out some things. I feel like a lot of the stuff I don't wear or have duplicates of is back here because it's harder for me to reach. So like for example, I got these from Everlane in so many colors and I love them. They're such good quality, but I have them in, a girl didn't need them in that many colors. So I think I'll sell two of these. Oh, I forgot that I have this cute t-shirt from Everlane. I need to move this over. This, I just think it's not my color. I feel like this would just look better on, I don't know. It kind of like blends in with my hair. So I think I decided that 
This one's not quite for me. Okay, I have basically this shirt twice. See what I mean? And I can't decide. This one's new. This one's from last season. But I feel like this one's slightly more me without the white collar. So this one actually I haven't worn yet because I've just been reaching for this one. See what else? This is another thing that I really liked when I tried it on. But I end up wearing this type of color more often than this one. Oh, it's hard because I love this color. But t-shirt, it's like a little too much to my skin tone when it's not like textured. So I think I'm gonna keep the green one and sell the peach one, especially now that I'll put the green one in a spot, I'll reach for it more. Okay, here we go. So these are kind of similar as well. They're both thrifted. One is splendid, one is free people. I think I'll keep the free people one and uh, it's hard. Actually, this is kind of fun. This one's a little more long line, but this is a better brand. Which one do I want? <laughs> I feel like the Splendid one's more versatile. Maybe I'll sell the Free People one. It's just such a good thrift find that kind of makes me sad to get rid of it, but I'm really trying to really keep my closet not too cluttered. Oh, you know what? I have so many collared shirts from Everlane and this one I bought from Madewell that I'm wondering if I should be ruthless and get rid of the Madewell one. I guess I don't really have anything pink though. I don't have any pink shirts, so I'll hold on to it. I'll hold on to it. Let's go to jeans, actually. I don't know if you guys remember, let me find them. In my Everlane haul, these, ugh. I love, love, love the 90s cheeky straight jean, but the 25 and the straight didn't really fit my hips very well. So I actually ordered the curvy version of these. So these are new with tags. The light wash fit me well. These are just a little bit tight. They looked really, really flattering, but I don't think I could wear them all day and be comfortable. They're so cute. Whoever gets these are gonna just love it. I'll sell those. And I have multiple white pants and I wear, I wear the curvy cheeky straight jean white pants more. So maybe I will sell these. Girl only needs one pair of white pants, right? These are so cute. These are also Everlane. Do you see like how hard it is for me to let go of Everlane? <laughs> I'm really trying, I'm really trying to pair down. Curated, curated is my word for this year. That's what I'm focusing on. We're doing it, we're doing good. Okay, so the area I really need to declutter is my leggings drawer. There's a lot in the wash right now and there's still so many in here. I have something so exciting. Guess what guys? I'm gonna be doing an Instagram campaign with Lululemon soon. I literally <laughs> screamed when I got that email. So I'll be getting more Lululemon in the near future. So I'm gonna keep all of my Lululemon and all of my Everlane. And I think almost everything that is not those, I think I'm gonna get rid of. This is Lulu. I have some really, really old Lulu, like from when I was 16 in here. And I still wear them. Let's see. Oh, these are new with tags, Adidas. I recently ordered these and they're a little bit loose on me. Should have sized down, so I'll sell those. The rest of these, I don't think that they're worth selling. I think that I'll probably donate them. Like, oh, you know what? So there's one type of Fabletics legging that I like, and I talked about this in my unsponsored review of the most sponsored brands video. Um, and so I'm gonna keep those, but I'm gonna sell all of the rest of the Fabletics leggings, or donate rather. So that way I have two Fabletics leggings. Don't buy white Fabletics leggings. They do not last. They get dirty the first time you wear them outside. Now I have room to grow. I have this little area. That feels good. That feels good. Last part of cleaning things out, I think I wanna clean out my workout tops because I, this is actually kind of cute. Where is this from? I don't even know where this is from um, because I hardly wear workout tops. I normally wear a sports bra and like matching leggings. I think it's time for me to get rid of most of these. The couple that I do wear are on top because I wear them. I'm gonna say I get rid of this. Actually, I might sell this. This is an Urban Outfitters top that is so cute and I wear it as a workout top. I haven't been wearing them lately, so sell. Oh, and I actually have some Lululemon that's pretty old that I will sell. Um, this is a Lululemon top. This is Fabletics, so that's probably Donate. This is, this is kind of cute for like a top top. Hmm, I'll put this aside. We have just a few plain tanks, more Fabletics. What is this? Oh, this is the Everlane tank. And I actually prefer their sports bras over their tanks. This is definitely more modest if that's your vibe. So maybe I'll sell this one because I have so many other sports bras now. And honestly, their sports bras are one of my favorite. But this is a cute top. I'll wear that one. Sell, ooh, Lululemon tank, sell, sell. And then I have a matching set to that bottom. That feels good. That was a quick little closet clean out, but it feels really good to do that. So the things that are worth selling, I will um, drop off to Jessica, list as she pleases. And otherwise, the rest is gonna be donated. <sighs> Feels good. We are going to do a quick run to the grocery store. I'll probably leave the camera here because it'll be 
quick get oat milk. Everywhere has been out of oat milk lately, like everywhere. And so we're gonna see, oh, is she here? We have an elote lady that comes down our street every day and it's really good. But anyways, oat milk has been out everywhere. And so we've checked a couple times. We're gonna go check again. And then also the flowers on, on our coffee table. I have had for almost three weeks. I don't know if Cedar Bros has good flowers or not, but I will update you guys. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain. shortage they did have flowers they had some really pretty flowers they all ended up being <laughs> twice the price of trader joe's though so definitely sticking to trader joe's for flowers in the future i got these lilies eucalyptus and baby's breath but the, all the lilies were not bloomed at all but i'm hoping that just means that we can keep this flower arrangement a little bit longer because hopefully it'll look good in a few days and then we'll last for an additional week or so hi bye hi bye <laughs> Overall, a success because we still got flowers. One thing before uh, sun goes down is whenever the sun hits the grass like this, it makes the grass look so much fuller than it actually is. So the grass that you can see was our first test. Our second test hasn't started sprouting yet, but it will hopefully go basically twice as far back. But it looks really happy when the sun hits it at this time of day. Good morning, it is Saturday. I stopped vlogging last night, probably around seven when the Dodger game started. And this game went 12 innings. So we were up to like 12.30 last night watching this game. And I edited yesterday's vlog footage and I now know that this camera, the built-in mic is not very good. So I'll leave on my mic or maybe get a smaller mic. So sorry for those couple audio clips that weren't as good, but I'm making my favorite breakfast. My toast just ended, let me grab it. This is the Char's gluten-free sourdough. It has the best texture out of all gluten-free sourdoughs. The best flavor profile in my opinion is Cook's brand, but I've been doing this with a just egg scramble, which is a vegan egg and some Parmesan, and some days I do an avocado mash if I'm exceptionally hungry. Oh, I made too much egg. <laughs> I'll do some on the side too. And I've just been loving this as a breakfast lately. So good. Look at all that steam. <laughs> and we have that nail appointment at noon that I feel guilty about. I, I feel so, I feel pre-guilty about it, but I'll explain more later. Ready? Listen to this, this toast crunch. This is rare for gluten-free bread, okay? <laughs> okay, I was just taking Max out in the backyard and I went inside to get my camera. Hold please, lighting change. Because we had this tree that was completely barren in the back corner. And all of a sudden it has all these leaves and some sort of fruit is growing. And I'm so excited and I can't quite tell what it is. So I'm hoping someone in the comments can identify this tree for me. Also, this is not the one I was gonna show you, but we have two of these. These big, ugly, scraggly trees. And I really hate them, but they're starting to get a couple leaves. I'll show you this side. So I'm hoping that this tree turns green eventually, because right now it looks like something that would be at like a wicked witch's castle. <laughs> I think they're so ugly, but let me show you the cute tree. Okay, I kid you not, this had no leaves on it just last week, and now look at all these leaves. And when you get really close, there's these little fruits, and they kind of, oh, Okay, well, I just broke this one, so I might as well take it off. Sorry to this little guy for breaking you. I really didn't mean to, but it has a little butt. So I'm wondering if it's a peach tree or something similar. I grew up with a peach tree, and this doesn't quite look the same to me, but I don't know what else has a little butt like that. <laughs> and it's, it's fuzzy, it's furry. But there's so many of them all around the tree, and I'm really excited. Oh, look at these. Look at these right there. I'm so excited about them. Does anybody know what they are? I'm just so happy. I also don't remember if I showed the vlog this, but my pomelo tree is officially flowering and I think it's so pretty and I can't wait for I tried the one pomelo left and it was so good that now I'm like oh I have to wait until next winter for the rest but there are a lot of bees on that tree <laughs> the bees love those little flowers good morning Hansa good morning what are you doing 
Making coffee. Oh yeah, you wanna show them what you just got? Kettle. He just, I don't even know if it's showing well on camera. He got a gooseneck kettle so that we can make French press coffee more often without just using a pot. And what coffee are you brewing? Donut shop. Yeah? Is that your favorite? It's the best one. Is it your friend's company? Oh yeah, I didn't know I was supposed to say it. Uh, yeah, the Wanderer Coffee House. I've talked about them before. We had their um, Christmas card on our fridge for like a year in the apartment. Where did it go when we moved? Uh, we have a pile of Christmas cards. So, Somewhere? Yeah. Um, they are adorable. They're Brooke's friend, but how do you know them? I know uh, them through I know Brooke. Taylor through softball. Oh, through softball. Yeah. They have a cute little baby girl. We're actually going to see them because it's her birthday next weekend and they have a coffee company. They have really, really good coffee. So that's what we drink whenever we're not drinking our espresso. And I'll link them down below. They have a website, right? I think it's the, the wanderercoffeehouse.com. The Wanderer Coffee House. Yep, the wandererCoffeehouse.com. I'll link them down below because if y'all are looking to support cute small family owned business coffee companies instead of just buying Folgers, <laughs> they're a really good one to support and they're adorable. So um, I'll come back when you make your French press. I'll start getting dressed and then we'll do a little taste test. What do you say? Okay. <laughs> Brooke just chose my outfit for me. This is the linen, I think utility shirt. I'll link it down below and then my favorite curvy cheeky straight jeans from Everlane. I might wear some sandals. And then I put on a different Anna Luisa necklace. I switched into the tiny little hoops I got yesterday and here is a closer look at that necklace. I love it so much. Start doing my makeup and then Brooke's gonna let me know when he's making the coffee, when the, when the water's hot. He has to run the kettle a couple times with boiled water before he can use it the first time. Dreamy, breezy, we go. The art of making coffee is really <laughs> satisfying to watch. And I asked Brick now that he has a kettle if he's gonna be the type to do pour overs and French presses. And is that gonna be your new hobby? Well, we don't have another way to drink coffee. <laughs> so. so, yeah. Maybe. Are you gonna do a taste test? It looks really hot. It's like steaming. It's not that hot. Oh, really? It's good temperature. It's really good though. You've tried almost all their coffees, right? Mm -hmm. And that one's your favorite? What's it called? Donut shop? Donut shop. Donut shop. Mm. Tastes like a donut shop coffee. I don't like black coffee, but. Oh, that's good. Excess is good strong. <laughs> oh, guys, I had to change. I'm sorry. You picked out my other outfit and it was so cute. But a thing happens to me like once a month. I don't know if it's celiac related. I don't know if it's lupus related. I don't know if it's allergy related. Mast cell activation syndrome. But my skin feels like it's on fire and like there's like fire ants especially when i move and so i have to wear super loose clothing that like doesn't touch my skin <sighs> it sounds so dramatic saying it out loud but there's been times before where i had to i was at church and this happened and i had to go to the bathroom and just take off my clothes and just <laughs> sit in the bathroom with no clothes on for like an hour until i got better that's funny it's not funny <laughs> it's a little funny i covered my legs with wet paper towels and just sat there someone walks in there I was in a stall, <laughs> which makes it worse, I think. Oh, that was better instead Is it of just better? sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's happening to me today. Oh, guess what I'm doing today? What? I'm gonna go get fancy nails. Ooh. I haven't got my nails done in two years, a year and a half, a little more than, between a year and a half and two years, and I'm not really supposed to but I'm just so tired of my nails being so weak and ugly. So I'm gonna do it and I kind of feel guilty about it because I'm breaking rules and it's, it's expensive. At least you have nails. Yeah, at least I have nails. I gotta take off my stickers. These nail stickers are really cute though. I really like this color. I've worn it like four times in the last couple of months. They're Manny Me and I'll link those down below too. I'll link everything down below. Okay, so I parked and I wanted to explain this a little bit further. Lately I have, or I guess maybe forever, I've always felt so guilty spending money on beauty things. I don't know why, but getting my nails done, buying makeup, if I ever splurge on like a facial or anything like that, I or getting my hair done is a big one. I always am like, ugh, like it hurts me. Which is why I didn't want to do this today, especially because it is very, very pricey, but my nails, have been, this is them cut to where there's normally no whites and they're just like awful. If you guys don't know, 
Um, my health concerns this last year made my nails completely detach at one point to where there was like almost nothing left. Um, there's still this like really weird like growth underneath them and they're just disgusting and I'm almost kind of nervous to have a nail tech see them because I don't want them to think it's like a fungus or something. I got it tested and it's not. It's part of the inflammatory response going in on my body. I'm nervous about it because I don't want them to think that I'm like contaminating their place. <laughs> I don't want to make them uncomfortable but I'm really, really excited to go. So I'll show you what I'm getting. This is on their Yelp. This is one of the nail designs that they did and it's so pretty. But I wanna see if they can do it with slightly more rounded nails. I feel like rounded nails are much more in style than like squared off nails right now. Um, so this is more square. I wanna see if they can do it more rounded. Oh my gosh, guys. This is the prettiest thing. They're definitely longer and pointier than I probably would have done them, but just having pretty nails is like, it feels so good, it's so pretty. Now I got a blue bottle. It's just a good day. I think I'm gonna get a car wash, cause why not? And to update you as to what she, look at this. Look at how pretty they are. Update you as to what she said. First, she was like, "What happened to your nails? She was, do you do acrylic a lot?" And I was like, "No." And she was like, "You need to give your nails a break." And I was like, "I haven't done my nails in like a year and a half." And then she was like, "Well, then what happened?" And I was like, uh, do you, "It. I think it's. I have lupus, and I think it's related to that." And she was like, "Oh, actually, you're not the first person that has had that that has come in that has had lupus and had nail issues." And I was like, "Oh, okay. She knows. She's understanding." So it went well. I didn't make her feel uncomfortable, which was my biggest fear. I'm just so happy. And like I said, I'm gonna go get a car wash and that's gonna be the full extent of my Saturday activities. I got a matcha. Um, definitely way too many fun things in one day just between matcha and nails alone. So I need to cut back and go home and probably work <laughs> to make up for this. But I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I wanted to say thank you again to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video and making the cutest jewelry. Don't forget, I will have that link down below for 15% off for their Mother's Day sale. I, I just, I adore them. I adore them so much and I love you guys with my absolute whole heart. Thank you for coming along with me as I do something possibly a little bit reckless. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign, oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign, just give me one more, talking to you, talking to here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me, where do we go from here, I wanna go.